for the last topic of the day, mm-hmm. I want to I want to talk about uh, this is also sort of like a bullshit. I don't, know, like how, I don't know how up. well uh, this top is going to go. I want to we'll talk about the first time we ever got a boner. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> if only we could fly. Watching Limp Bizkit play on MTV VMAs. Whoa. <laughs> Watching Fred Durst dance gave me a boner. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to go over like the, the first time you can at least remember the first time you got a boner. Um, got a boner. So I'll, I'll tell my story. Is uh, let's see. Hmm. I believe this was right before. I, this is the first time I remember. At least was right before fourth grade. I think it was like the summer before. <laughs> Haven't you taken it back? And I was in. This, this is this is the the weird part about this story. Is like you know I'm in my mom's room. And uh, I feel a little Ed Gein coming on. <laughs> <laughs> so like you know, like every night, like we would watch like fucking or like every weekend we would, we would watch like the Sunday like Sunday show like Fox shows or whatever, right? And uh, so you know, I was laying down on the floor, and then like my mom and my stepdad were on the bed, and we were watching like exact moment his ball went back in. <laughs> <laughs> Nobel Prize! <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Dude, we can't skip a moment like that. Uh, <laughs> That's I be regret, on your grave, like, by the way. <laughs> I regret telling you guys that story. Nobel Prize! <laughs> Go on. So much. Um, and we're watching, like, the show was probably canceled. Like a year later, it was like one of those mid-season premiere sort of things. I think where uh-huh. it's just like, why the fuck is this out? Fall right lineup, um, two and, men and a baby. And so it was like, I want to say it was like Pam Anderson or like a lookalike or someone very popular at the time who What's was like other, beach Pamela blonde and- who was like super big tits, and it was about her like working in a library. Or something. Pamela Anderson. What's that other one? There's another woman who died. Uh, Anna Nicole Smith. Anna Nicole Smith. Maybe. Could Did she die? Yeah. Yeah, she died years ago. Yeah. Jesus like Christ. Years ago. Like 2008 or something. Yeah. Jesus. No, earlier. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, actually, no. I think. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Um, that was another weird thing I was you thinking about. You just found out, and you're just heartbroken, right? Because <laughs> you're holding it. <laughs> uh, the the one weird thing I was watching, I've been watching that '70s show recently. Just like the entire time, I'm thinking, like, whenever you see Eric's sister, I'm like, you're dead. That is weird to think yeah. about. Who's Eric's yeah. sister? In that um, I, I forget she, what her name is. She's, she's not hair, popular like, outside yeah. of that '70s show. Like, she did nothing. Like, almost nothing I don't else out. Her from anything yeah. It's like when you go back and watch Old Boy and you're like, you're dead. Drug overdose, I think. As actors, too. Yeah. um, (laughs) But anyway, it was like this weird, like, Pam Anderson-like woman. She was like the main character and she was working in a library. I remember that was like the whole thing. Like, look at this hot girl working in a library. Isn't it a fucking crazy, like, mixture of things? (laughs) (laughs) Because, like, when you're hot, you don't have, like, a fucking brain and can't read books and shit. Um, 2005 culture. Love it. Yeah, Um, seriously. Early 2000s in general. no, I was going into fourth grade, so it was like 2003, 2004, 2004. Um, so I get a boner, like in the middle of this episode, and I have no idea how to like handle it. To the like, I'm just like, sort of like I just like notice it. I just notice it out of at one point, like it sort of snuck up on me. You know, this is like a just like a sneak attack boner, but like Neosporin like... on it. <laughs> so I like, I'm like. Holy shit, I've never felt this before. And I legit got up and like ran to the bathroom. <laughs> Looked in the mirror. Whoa! Whoa! Started doing the thing where you make it go like this. Whoa! <laughs> but I was Woo! like, I was no scared prize. because I was like, I got up and I was trying to hide it because fucking my mom and my stepdad are in the room. And I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. And I fucking like ran down the, <laughs> the hall to the fucking bathroom. How obvious it must have been when Pamela Anderson was on screen. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom, mother, just, father. You just here in the bathroom. And I didn't even like, 
But I didn't even know what to do with it because I wasn't even in that mindset of like, oh, I should jerk off. I'm pretty it, sure I like hit mine or something. Like, <laughs> smacked it. I, I just like. I've told this story before. I, I think I think it was to the point where like I thought I had to pee or something like really bad. So I was just like. You ended up just there, peeing like, on your face. <laughs> <laughs> just waiting. I was just like Superman stance, just like. That thing All where, right. like, that don't thing, come in, mom. That thing when you're an elementary school kid and you have like your pants on the floor, like yeah. those weird kids that are in like butters. He has like his shirt up. He has like his shirt up and he's like, mm. <laughs> um, yeah, like that. So that was my yeah. first like, from what I can remember, like my first boner. So I, I don't. I'm not sure if this. I'm gonna say two examples, short stories. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna say like, the first time you can remember getting yeah, a boner, yeah. just because. Especially us. I remember and... it hurting. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's going to be an interesting story. Yeah. Um, I remember two different occasions. I don't know which one was before the other um, of me getting boners. One of them being Taranga Lila. Got to get some of that one eyed action there. Yeah. Um, I believe, I don't know if it was the like. Uh, I forgot what holiday it was on Futurama, but it was like the Christmas they're all, episode. They're all getting ready to go in the hot tub, but then uh, what's his face drinks all the water. Zoidberg. Something. No, not Zoidberg. Uh, little. Oh, Nibbler. 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 Okay. Uh, drinks all the water, and they're getting ready to like you know get in the hot tub. And I had a thing for Leela. Yeah. Or I mean, color, you, you colored saw, hair, you, you like saw tangled, one eyed, sort of, sort of naked, like one yeah, eye, the top of her boob, one eye for sure. Yeah. Um. And I remember getting... If it the... gets in her eyes, she can't see at all. <laughs> God? <laughs> it's me, Margaret. <laughs> it's me, Margaret. Um, uh, there, not... that's the worst thing I'll ever say. <laughs> I'll then, beat it next week. I remember the same situation, like, going into the bathroom and just being like, I probably have to pee or something. Like, that's probably what this is. Nothing yeah. serious. And then nothing happening. And then, like, hitting it. And hoping that that goes down. <laughs> seven. Hey, hey, seven. seven. <laughs> um, and then the second occasion, we're going to go back to wrestling now. Jesus. It's <laughs> about Macho Man Randy Macho Savage. Macho Man Randy Savage. He's going to say China, and I'm going to say she's dead. No. Um, there was there used to be a high flying team of three, two guys, one girl. They were called the Hardy Boys. <laughs> That's a book. <laughs> That's a fucking book. <laughs> Um, and the girl member was named Lita, and this is early 2000s. Lita Ford? Lita Ford. <laughs> Comes out playing the guitar. <laughs> I was in the Runaways! <laughs> and uh, early 2000s, so they're wearing like the like army green like cargo pants that people would wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like fishnet long sleeve. Like like slutty like thong over the pants so you can see it like yeah. the people who think they're goth but they don't really get what goth is yeah, yeah. just like that the same people who are like oh it was, back then we had alternative for like our the the majority of, of like the background like, actors you. for the first scooby-doo movie there you go yeah just like that. i was I nailed, on the I nailed it just like that. i was on the real world <laughs> yeah that kind of thing <laughs> The kind of person you probably see on the first couple seasons of Survivor or like Big Brother. Oh or whatever. wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, so she did this move called the moon salt, where she'd get up and then kind of like she just shake her ass and like a lot of salt would come out. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like a that's flip disgusting. And then get up on the turnbuckle, do a flip, and her thong was out a little bit too much. I'm a butt guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, an ass. Now this man. situation, I go to the bathroom, still like trying to figure it out. But I put Icy Hot on it. Oh. Hoping it calms down the muscles. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. I proceeded to scream as my brother walked in the room and went, <laughs> Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Got my father in it. The father had to wash it off for me. <laughs> and Dad just went, this is why you used to mentor us. This, this is why your grandma doesn't want you to watch wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> And that's my fucking story. There you go. I remember. Oh, I immediately know what I'm using for the thumbnail for this episode. <laughs> the wrestler or dad? Icy hot. <laughs> Our, uh, I don't remember how I got it. I think I just woke I woke up with Morningwood one day. Mm -hmm. And it was like, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, mom, something's wrong. <laughs> she was like, oh, 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 oh no. 
I think you should like put ice on it. <laughs> Quit playing Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> but Amy. <laughs> but like I have no. I know you got that off of RC, and don't tell me you didn't. What? You got that shit off of RC. What the fuck are you talking about? That's a cola. Um, yeah, RC. Wait, then what's her name in uh, Transformers? RC. But you were putting emphasis on the RC. No, oh, yeah. well, RC. Fuck you, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. No. Um. no. <laughs> like, I really don't remember, like, for some I don't remember, like, who it was. But someone just started sucking it. It was really weird. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I was seven. <laughs> But that was, like that was the joke. It was supposed to be really weird and awkward. <laughs> I re- I like don't remember like who it was. Where I was like, Mwah. where you like realized like, oh shit, I am attracted to that. Yeah, I can't remember who it was. Mm-hmm. I remember watching Totally Spies. Yeah, I see that happening. Yeah, yeah, some of that Clover action. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of any other ones that are specific. Not boner related, but I will talk about <laughs> the um, when my dad gave me the talk. When my dad gave me a boner. <laughs> he was just dunking so hard, man. <laughs> so uh, I'll never be scolded that hard again. <laughs> he he keeps using like basketball references throughout the. I whole was thing. using. I, I was watching. When you like dunk a, it. I was watching like one of those Nick tunes, like you know, like. Uh, <clears throat> like in the middle of the day for thirty minutes, it would be like five different like short clips that they would do. And every... Cindy just started fucking Jimmy. And there was like uh, there was one where they, it was like a, a whole like about like giving birth and whatever, and it was like being really funny and whatnot. And yeah, I'm in like fourth or fifth grade at this point, and my dad like clicks the TV off right when the skit ends, and he's like, "Do you know how sex really happens?" And I was like, uh, I think so. And then he went in depth of like, you know, like the sperm going into the, the uterus and then like the egg finding the sperm. And then if you have a dental dam. <laughs> <laughs> and then he talked to, he started talking to me about like birth control like immediately. And I was in like fifth grade and I was like, bruh, what? <laughs> I, I never got the talk. You never got the talk. Wow. Neither have I. Never. Huh. I never got the talk. My, my dad. My, my, my talk was about 40 minutes. I remember like it was fucking, it was a long time. Yeah. Just to make eye contact with your dad while he talked about sperm. Yeah. No, I could not do that. I was literally. Literally just like looking away from him, looked at the clock every once in a while. Stop. <laughs> yeah, and then you know afterwards I went into my room and played with Legos because you know I was a fucking fifth grader and built a dick. I think, like, <laughs> I think like the closest thing to the talk I got was my grandpa talking about butts a couple times, and that was kind of it. I like in perspective of your grandma. No. <laughs> Um, yeah, and that's cause... why Ricky is a butt guy. Your grandma oh, has an ass that because... won't quit. <laughs> <laughs> Use that as the title for the entire episode. <laughs> that plus the icy hot. Oh though. my god! Yes. Oh my god. Um, We're terrible people. Yeah, like I think uh, by the time I was old enough to get the talk, like my parents were divorced already, and then by mm. the time I saw my dad again, like I was already like old enough. Yeah. To like know. Yeah. And I don't think my mom even wanted to deal with that with that ordeal. She's just first, like, I don't want to deal with you possibly knowing more than I think. I do. The first time my mom and I like really openly talked about sex was like when my mom caught me having sex at one point, like yeah. when she walked in on me. And then she didn't mm. talk to me at all for like a yeah. week. And then she came home one night, like sort of drunk from I've partying. And then she came home and then she talked about her entire sexual experience in high school. And I had to deal with that. And that was super not comfortable. So. Yeah. And that's I've, when I knew I've I was a that. lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I've, I've had that before. When I caught your stepdad listening to Creed. <laughs> <laughs> um, the one thing that I'm glad I never got was getting the walk in on jerk in it. Because that's, I think that's even weirder than the walk. I've had stuff. that before, Never only once, that. and that was super uncomfortable. Um, but you, you know, it's sort of like you just gotta like you just gotta sort of not talk to each other for the rest of the day, and then like the next day it gets like a little better. You know, it's just sort of like, I mean, all right, I, I'm gonna eat dinner in my room, and it's like okay, it's still like can you leave your door open? <laughs> <laughs> it's never happened to me because I've gotten really good with listening to footsteps Cause, and like because no. your sneak your sneak level is fifty, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, but like, but like I've listened to the footstep 
to like I can tell who's walking by by their footsteps, and so I know stepmom will never try to open the door. Yeah, dad might. So if I hear him stop, start pulling up pants. <laughs> um, it's a, a real my thing. whole my whole <laughs> thing about it, like especially in high school, was never do it when anybody's home because my family is the whole shit. We're like they don't knock, we don't knock in our family. Yeah, it's same thing like, with my family. Yo, like, dinner's ready. My trick. Oh is, shit, you're jerking off. Sorry about invading your privacy, even though this <laughs> is my house. This whole thing, and you're just like. <laughs> <laughs> um, see, my thing with that was to do it when nobody's home is because I never had my own room as a kid because mm, mm, Latin mm. family like Jack packed all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Jack and packed. Jack packed. Um, and anybody could come home at any moment and nobody fucking knocks. Yeah. Like, so, yeah, no. Always when nobody's my, home. My yeah. secret is that I either do it before they get home or I do it when they're watching Game of Thrones. Because I know they're just gonna... <laughs> I know they're just gonna be in there watching it and I can just be in my room because I don't give a shit about Game of Thrones. Good for yeah. you. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Talking Shit. Remember, it's BCG's weekly podcast where the three of us bring in random topics of discussion. We talk some shit about those topics. If you like that, head on over to patreon.com slash BGG. Give us a dollar a month where you can get every full audio version of the uh, episodes early before the episodes roll out uh, in video form on YouTube.com slash Gamers, where the topics are broken out. Monday through Thursday, topic by topic, and before the entire audio version of the episode is available for everybody on SoundCloud that Friday. God damn it, every time, every time I'm here, the entire week I'm fine. Even though I was sick, my nose was fucking fine. And every time I'm in this room, I'm like allergic to something. I'm allergic to like you Me. or <laughs> to my cat. It actually might be your cat. That's actually like a really mini, good thought mini, right mini. there. Henry Don't... Smart. Henry Smart sometimes. Also known as Nine Toes Magoo. Next week is episode <laughs> 100. I'm really excited about it. We're going to, you know, I have some specific topics I want to bring in for episode 100, so make sure to come back next week. Uh, and also, um, just like last minute housekeeping, uh, if you're watching this on uh, YouTube and it's uh, Thursday since it's the last topic, uh, and if you're wondering if we did, did any E3 coverage, yes, we did. All of it was. On Sunday and Monday, we have a bunch of videos. Go check that out. It's all of our reactions, so we won't... We might bring up something specific for Talking Shit, but don't expect us to have E3 reactions as, like, Talking Shit topics. Um, and then, uh, what else? Uh, there was something else. I feel like there was something else. Uh, I guess not. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us this week. Uh, Ricky, Henry, thank you for being here this week this with me. Cool. I'm excited for episode 100. So am I. Excited for episode 101 mm -hmm. as well. 102. Because you know how special Even 103. Like. What? Fuck Even 100. And <laughs> <so> <laughs> Fuck that I'm one. I'm just waiting that for episode tough. 420, man. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. And until next time, keep talking shit. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>